Hey, this is Nightflame, and today I will be starting a new show called Back Issues Review, which I will be reviewing uh, issues, like old issues in the past from like 2012, 2011, you know, and way back. So I'm going to start off with uh, Batman and Robin issue number 9. So this, uh, I'm, issue, I'm reviewing Batman and Robin issue number 9, which is a Night of the Owls tie-in. So let's see what I thought about it. So... I reread this issue. I I know I reread it before. I mean I read it before, but I reread this issue, and um, this is my thoughts. So this issue opens up with like all the Batman out of the Owls tie-ins, which um, it's uh, Alfred telling them, telling the people, the Bat family that they have to protect um though that the Court of the Owls ha has set the towns free to kill um members on their hit list. And the Bat family has to defend some of the members who they're like closest to at the moment, because Batman's too busy doing the same thing. But you know, Batman does it faster. So, um, this issue is about Damian Wayne, which uh, gets set to um, to like protect this military officer, like military high rank officer. So you know, Damian Wayne goes help him, and. Um, the talent, you know, they're ruthless. Their regenerating abilities make them really strong. And uh, this is Damian Wayne, who Damian Wayne's the youngest member of the Bat family. And let's see if he can do it. I mean, that was my whole point. I mean, Damian Wayne is my favorite character out of all time. He's a different kind of type of Robin. He's ruthless. He's like he's strong. He's cocky too. But you know. Uh, he's been uh, knowing a lot of things since he was young because he was raised by the Court of the Owl. I mean, not Court of the Owl, League of Assassins. So in this issue, uh, the officer's like, oh, why should I trust the kid? And then he's like, oh, no, I've been I've been reading, like, higher books while you, and s while when I was six years old, while you were but learning to button your shirt. Because, you know, he's had a different childhood. He's different. So in this issue, you see that. And um, all the soldiers that serve for the corps, like that officer, the military officer, which the Court of the Owls are trying to kill, they sacrifice themselves. They're like, oh, it's been nice serving you. Because, you know, a lot of people are obviously going to die. The talents are ruthless. And then Damian Wayne, uh, more off, like more soldiers come, and they all try to help the officer, the corporal officer, but they all fail. Damian Wayne is leading them. They're like, oh, charge this way, open fire. No. Uh, stop the fire, open fire, cease, and then um, nothing is affecting Talon, that Talon. And he ends up telling his story that um, that corporal officer is like, um, he belongs to a family that owns land. Uh, the Talons were sent to kill the whole family, but uh, he somehow escaped. And uh, now that he doesn't have children, this is the end of his bloodline, so they have to kill him in order for the Talons or like the Cordial to get that piece of land that he owns. And you learn about that, and then Damian Wayne, oh, when he's right about to kill that officer, Damian Wayne shoots one of his gadgets through his eye, and then he hangs him on top of the tree. And Damian Wayne's cut, cut, he cut the town's head off. He cuts um the town's head off. He cuts it, and then the officer's like, "Oh no, are you worried that he's gonna regenerate?" And then Damian was like, "Don't worry, I think that's the last we see of him." And that was the end of the issue. I mean. I felt nostalgic because we don't see Damian Wayne anymore and that was the only reason I picked up Batman and Robin I wanted to see a little bit of Damian Wayne but we don't see Damian Wayne anymore so you know I feel nostalgic about that but this issue overall was really good I mean I think you guys should definitely pick up the earlier issues of Batman and Robin because na right now you don't even have the Batman and Robin like anything to do with Batman and Robin it's all Batman fighting Two-Face in the current storyline and the other ones were like, oh yeah, I thought it was gonna like, uh, I thought the last arc was gonna end up with Damian Wayne coming back to life, but it turns out he didn't, and which I thought was pretty bad. And I I dropped it after that, but if Damian Wayne comes back, I'll definitely pick up Batman and Robin. So I give this issue a strong nine out of ten. This issue was really good. It was a nine of the Alice time that I really enjoyed. You guys definitely need to like pick up Damian Wayne issues. I mean, he's my favorite Robin, but he's just a really cool character overall. 9 out of 10. And uh, definitely pick up the earlier issues of Batman and Robin. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked and subscribe. Thanks.